Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to, to go through some of the uh, updates that are available for the firmware so that's the actual software that runs on your Asus router. Um, so as you know I cover quite a few different uh, router models and everything else and I actually still use going back to my uh, original one so it's the uh, AX11000 uh, Asus router so that's quite a few years many years old now but I still find it rock solid and still uh, still worthy by even in 2024 uh, coming to the end of 2024 in October um, it's still a, a really good uh, router and we'll have a look at later on you know what how the uh, how any firmware updates and things like that so again it, uh, why I brought this video up is because I've seen a lot of in the press recently um, there's a lot of uh, kind of either security advisories going out and um, patches and things like that about, um, about routers not just Asus but other makes as well and don't forget this is the main thing that's connected to your internet 24 7 so of course you always want to make sure it's secure um, and keeping that software up to date is one of the most vital things to do. Asus over the time has uh, now uh, basically updated uh, the update uh, feature so basically you just toggle the yes um, and we'll come to in a minute and that will then just auto download every time it's a new firmware update it will just update for you in my case i switch it off because i like to actually see uh, what the update involves um, in the actual notes but again if you do have it switched on as i advise uh, most people that just want to plug the uh, the router in um, and just forget about it then um, then I advise you just to switch that on um, because most people do just plug it in and forget about it to be honest but if you're more wary about sometimes having uh, critical things or you run your business from home as well sometimes these updates may cause an issue um, that you're unaware of that the update has been applied without um, without you knowing kind of thing so uh, let's get on to it so I've logged into the web portal for my uh, GTB9 BE98 so that's a Wi-Fi 7 router it's one of the newest ones from uh, Asus you can see here uh, straight away that the actual bell icon is uh, flashing so that means that there's an alert so normally that means that there's a firmware update you can click on it and you can see here that it's saying there's a new firmware version available and you can go there and update now if you don't see this at all but you just want to check you can use the app the app in under settings and advance uh, has the actual uh, a check as well so you can check for new firmware and that should give you the same uh, version uh, of the layout as here so if you do log into your router so that's normally the 192.168.50 uh, or 51.1 uh, um, and then I'll log you into the Asus router and you'll need to your username and password that you set up when you first uh, initiated the uh, router you go into administration and then you come down and then you go to firmware upgrade and then if we just scroll down you'll see here that you've got auto firmware upgrade so as I said this is one should be on um, because I advise if you is if you are just plugging it in and just forgetting about it and don't want to worry about it ever again um, like majority of people then leaving that on will automatically give you the most uh, security because it will automatically download most of the updates you'll see here that uh, there's a new toggle as well and the, the last few updates has been here so this is around the security upgrade so basically what this is on by default um, so as it says here even if security upgrade is turned off so basically the security upgrade incorporates security measures that continually update its security file and scan to protect against malware, uh, malicious scripts and emerging threats. So this is talking about the AI protection as well that you switch on and is uh, updating the files in the background for that as well. And it's saying here some upgrades address important security issues and meeting legal regulatory requirements. So this is why this is always on by default. And uh, this is that uh, because like in the UK as well, um, there's some regulation around keeping, you know, companies now have to be a bit more uh, updating their, you know, for security and things like that. And also have to give a, a date of how long they're going to support the uh, actual device, um, the IoT device, and then uh, with their security updates and patches. So now when you buy a product, it should have on the product page 
uh, a, a length of time um, on how long they will actually give you security updates for. So that makes things much better. Again, if you come down here, you'll see you've got the firmware version. So you've got your current one and it's saying here. So in my case, uh, I have AI mesh switched on. So you can see two uh, routers here. So all I do is I just click on check here. And then it's just basically on this one, you probably won't get this. This is because I haven't got the other router plugged in. So once you just click that, it will just come up with this little box here. And if you do have an update, this firmware upgrade, a button will appear but also you will get the uh, notes here. So basically you can click on here. This is your current version. This is the new version. If you click on here, this should actually, if we just scroll up, should load the actual notes of the uh, firmware update. So basically, if you want to see what has been changed and updated, you can click on there and it will go on to the actual information as you can see here. So it'll run through. So basically for this new firmware, so if you do have the uh, BE98 or Pro, uh, then it's saying here we've got some release notes. So basically they're advising you as well. So please be advised that due to an architecture upgrade in AI mesh, we highly discourage downgrading to earlier firmware versions as it may result in connection problems. So basically they've changed the actual fundamental uh, software behind the AI mesh. So if you do start to have problems with this firmware and like I've shown in other videos, you can downgrade back to the previous firmware version. If you do that, it says it's you're going to experience any difficulties. We suggest resetting the AI mesh router and its default setting. So basically you're going to have to do a factory reset if you have any issues uh, because it's updated the actual uh, underlying software. You've got new features here. So not every time an update is come out, it has new features. And most of the time it's just for bug fixes and enhancements. So as you can see here for the new features, the uh, got new network page to consolidate the main network and guest network, uh, smart home master for simplified management. So I'll do that in the next video and we can go through, see what that new network page looks like. And then I've got here for support the gaming network. So for gaming devices with the game profile presets, again, that's for your game radar and the other settings that you've got for if you've got a Republic of Gaming or you see this red and black kind of uh, dashboard that you have here on your router, then uh, that means you've got a Republic of Game. Um, if you have a grey one, then normally you won't have any gaming features uh, on your router. So next we go to bug fixes and enhancements. So you can see here it's improved the AI mesh backhaul of stability, improved system stability, um, and it goes through the, uh, the system user interface basically issues, optimize some memory management. So hopefully it will store things in memory much better. Uh, strengthen the input validation and data processing. So again, this is protecting your information for security really. It's validating everything that is storing and reading and writing. Uh, improved web rendering engine. So that's basically when this uh, comes up. So sometimes you might have when you load the actual UI of the router, um, sometimes it doesn't load some of the options or pictures properly. That could be to do with that. You have enhanced security for the system command processing against potential miscellaneous or mal malicious, sorry, operations. So again, it's something that wants to attack you. And basically they've prefetched the JavaScript related security mechanisms. So again, in, in, in real world kind of summary terms is that they've basically tried to lock down everything more uh, for your security. Um, and then they've also tried to patch some bugs that they've got there as well. And this is specific to the BE98. So as I said, there is sometimes on other routers, um, they normally release uh, updates as well. But as the routers do get older and older, they tend to only release um, vulnerability patches and updates. So if we next go to the uh, AX11000, so we can see here the last update here was actually a uh, December last year in 2023. So here's where it fixed uh, numerous bugs and fixes and then had some security fixes. As I said, so this has got come quite a few years old now. So it looks like they're only going to uh, give uh, updates out when there's a real big security flaw um, and they will give that. There won't be any more probably any features or anything like that normally. Um, but again, as I said, even more the, we're adding no more features, this AX11000 is still an amazing router, solid and for performance of all your devices around your home for being Wi-Fi 6, it's still really good. 
So and next we're moving on to the, uh, on here, this is the GTAXE 16000. So this is a Wi-Fi 6E router. Um, so you can see here the last update was in September. So because it's a bit of a newer router, they're still giving more updates and things like that. So you, again, um, how I'll show you in a minute how you can get to these pages and have a look for yourself. Again, if you don't like to use the interface here where you download it directly to your router, I would say this one is the easiest and the safest, so do use this, but for any reason you don't, you can download the firmware um, and store it um, on your computer here and then down and uh, upload it to the router to update. So again, as you see here, the uh, AXE 16000, as we said, September, it's quite a small update, only 55 megabytes, but it does have a lot of things around, same as the BE98 as we saw before, around the memory opti optimization, uh, validation, the web engine, enhanced security, and the JavaScript. So it's, it's basically updated all the security and bug fixes that was in the uh, BE98. And as I said, these do continue on because the firmware really is duplicated across. That's how they can get the updates out so quick is that the base actual firmware is the same across all the routers. So next is we're moving on to the GT6. So this is, you might have the AI mesh system. So all of this is done is back in, uh, well, this is just in October. Um, so only five days ago, as you can see, it's 53 megabyte update and all it's giving is a fixed and AI cloud vulnerability. So this one's really important. AI cloud, if you do switch that on, that normally opens up some ports and things to the internet. So you can access your router back from outside your net home network. So I would advise if you haven't had, a, if you've got a GT6 and you haven't checked um, if it's been up to date and it should be this uh, firmware version, if it's not, then please make sure that you go in and using the app or the web interface <clears throat> is to download the update um, because that is quite, quite um, important, very important in fact. So next we move on to some updates. So as you can see here, there has been some issues with Asus routers uh, recently um, with uh, kind of vulnerabilities and things like that. So this is again, just if you've got any of these models. So it's the X-T8, uh, the RTAX57, the RTAC86U and the RTAC68U. Um, Basically, the company has released the following firmware updates to address these issues. So you can see here, all the different routers have got uh, an update because they've got a flaw in them um, and it's quite, quite a scary flaw. Basically, it allows a remote authentication to bypass vulnerability. So basically, um, I'll put the link in the description where you can click on here. So CVEs are normally recorded, uh, um, CVE the year and the number. Um, so basically it goes there and it will tell you and it's a score of 9.8 out of 10 So that's very severe um, So basically normally the you know the lower the better but um, it's still a vulnerability but 9.8 is very um, Very important that you update to your routers if you do have one of these um, Make sure you go there and check you've got the latest firmware for this because this is a potential where you can a remote attacker can bypass um, authentication and log into your router without you knowing. So it's very important you do that. So as I said before um, on here, um, you can, if you want to, if I haven't covered your uh, Asus router, you just go to Google and search for uh, Asus uh, support. It will take you to your relevant country's uh, Asus website. So of course I'm in the UK, so it's taking me to the UK version, but most of these, even with the global ones, uh, the format is exactly the same. So say you want to look for uh, one of the actual routers, so you want to look for yours. So just type in the actual model. So if you've got like an uh, AXE uh, 16000, so you can see here, it will start to uh, come up here. Um, so you can then click on it. And then you have uh, these options here. You want to go to drivers and tools. And this will take you to a specific page about your router. And you want to make sure you click on the BIOS and firmware and you scroll down and you can see here when the last update was available. So you can see here the 27th and 9th and you can see here with all the information about it and just make sure you've got it. Again, like I said, you can download your um, actual firmware here. Again, you can use this tool as well um, if you're searching for, if you do make an update and it really does give you more problems than fixing. 
Um, if you click on the see all downloads button underneath it's normally hidden you can go back to the previous version download that and then upload it to your router to um, basically put it back to the original uh, firmware that it was previously if you're having issues with a new one uh, again like a, it, it will advise you that um, like with the AI mesh we saw before on this one here it just it tells you here if you do do that make sure you have to probably factory reset or both your routers back together again so as we just quickly round up is that you know with the AX11000 as we can see here just saying is the uh, last update was on the 12th um, of last well December last year so it's quite a long time ago now and a lot of you are probably still buying this um, and I don't blame you the router but if you want to look at see getting some updates or getting some features and one of the better software uh, for the firmware sorry um, do jump over to um, Asus WRT Merlin um, he produces uh, a third party uh, firmware and again this firmware is uh, based around Asus one uh, around their code and everything so it's very safe and everything else but he had some really good features into it so it's really worth a look and going through his uh, website and documentation he did uh, last update it on the 12th of October so you can see here a list you can just pause the video um, of supported routers and you can see here he's still supporting the GTA X11000 uh, on here as well and then he has got a list of here which ones he doesn't support anymore as well okay so thanks for watching and i hope this has been useful but again the summary is basically uh, make sure you keep your router uh, up to date with all these security flaws that seem to be coming out and everything else uh, every month there's not just for asus but all of your routers if you have different makes keep them up to date on their firmware okay thanks for watching and have a great day